Volkswagen have long been the kings of the hot hatches with the Golf GTI. The new Golf GTI is en route to showrooms right now, but in the VW family, the Sirocco is Prince Harry compared to its brother Golf, which is more Prince William. The Sirocco has a wild streak. This is a special edition Sirocco GTS and it stands out from the rest of the Sirocco range thanks to a pair of distinctive stripes that run the full length of the car from nose to tail. Four exterior colour choices are available. Other exterior extras include gloss black door handles, 18 inch thunder alloys and a panoramic sunroof. It oozes aggression with three stonking deep black air intakes which zoom up in every rear view mirror like Darth Vader. Add in sill extensions, a roof mounted spoiler, twin exhaust, smoked rear light units, a gloss black diffuser and subtle GTS badges and you have a real head turner. The drama continues inside. You sink low into the sculpted sport seats with suede sides behind a three spoke steering wheel. The interior is a masterclass in build quality and understated elegance. Every surface is good to touch from the abrasive aluminium pedals to the soft leather on the dash. All cars also get sat nav, adaptive chassis control, climate control and Bluetooth and the ignition unleashes the real star of the show, the engine. However, the different badge doesn't mean extra power. There's no extra horses, despite the go-faster stripes. It uses the VW's familiar 2-litre turbocharged TSI petrol engine, producing 207 bhp, which means 0-62 in 6.9 seconds and a top speed of 149. I drove this petrol, and believe me, GTS plus DSG still equals OMG. Floor the throttle, and the surge of acceleration is instant and exhilarating, with the front wheels digging hard into the road surface. The exhaust note is a firecracker. There's a wonderful rasp from the tailpipes whenever you put your foot down, and the Sirocco is beautifully balanced on the road. Its wider stance than the Golf means it corners fast and grips with only the merest hint of torque steer on bumpy surfaces. What makes this car special is that it's suitable for day-to-day -day driving and will match your mood. Even if you're not feeling that racy, the GTS delivers a fairly smooth ride. It's a breathtakingly involving drive. I absolutely loved this car. Prices the GTS start at over 2K more than the R version at 27.945 for the petrol manual and 29.345 for the DSG. The diesel powered version starts at 27.980 and 29.395 for the DSG. There's no doubt the new Golf GTI will be a stonker, but it has a real rival from its own VW garage. Now I know what GTS stands for. Go to showroom and buy one.